be faithful and true to the Republic of Ghana. John Dramani Mahama is Africa's newest leader. He was sworn in just hours after the announcement of the death of his predecessor, Ghanaian President John Atta Mills. I'm personally devastated. I've lost a father. I've lost a friend. I've lost a mentor and a senior comrade. But as far as I'm Atta Mills had been suffering from throat cancer. The, the presidential office said he died in hospital in the capital Accra, but provided Ghanaian, no other details. The 68-year-old was elected in a razor-thin runoff vote in 2008. He'd campaigned on the platform of change. A message reinforced when Barack Obama chose to visit Ghana on his first trip to sub-Saharan Africa as U.S. President in 2009. Issuing a statement of tribute on Tuesday, Obama called Atta Mills a strong advocate for human rights and a champion of his people. Atta Mills promised to spread national wealth. He oversaw Ghana's emergence as a new large-scale oil producer. A lot of African countries have not had good success with the oil boom. But for the establishment of a proper foundation for Ghana's oil industry to ensure that there is no corruption and that all the, corrupt, all the correct systems were in place, it was President Mills who saw to that. Defending that system is one of the primary challenges facing Ghana's new leader. The country is heading to the polls in December. Atta Mills was to run again, but his party's ticket will now be taken on by Dramani Mahama. Ghana is going through a number of transitions, and so people will have to watch very carefully and see where things go with the oil coming online, how the money is spent, where it is spent, uh, uh, will be key factors. Ghana is often hailed as a rare beacon of stability in Africa. It also has one of the continent's highest gross domestic product per capita. John Dramani Mahama has his work cut out as president to ensure democracy and economic growth continue to go hand in hand. Cheryl Tan, Al Jazeera.